Hey friends, Ashton here with Gent Scents, back with another fragrance review. Today we're taking a look at a niche fragrance that goes by the name of Gin from the house of Commodity. Commodity has a bunch of different fragrances based off of different commodities, hence the name. Uh, there's gold, wool, book, whiskey, gin, uh, lots of them. We'll go ahead and check out the presentation on this guy, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the fragrance itself. All right, let's go ahead and check out the presentation. So this actually comes with a slip cover over the box. I've removed that so I don't have to fiddle with it too much here. You can see the name of the fragrance there, Gin. Commodity symbol on the side. On the back, you have your ingredients, barcode, made in the USA, typical information. On the side, Commodity Gin 100 ml Eau de Parfum. So this is the box that that slip cover goes over. You can see the outline of the bottle here. Let me just go ahead and lift that up to show you how it sits in there. So the bottle, when you get it, comes slotted in like this. It looks pretty nice. It's not a bad presentation at all. And the bottle itself is basically standard for every single one of the fragrances in Commodity. It either comes in a black bottle like this or a white bottle. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I think the white bottles are the feminine fragrances and the black are masculine, but I'm not 100% on that because I haven't looked it up. Shame on me. So the bottle here says gin as the commodity symbol, 100 ml eau de parfum. The cap does not snap in, but you can lift it by it. No problems there. You can see the juice is, uh, is clear, see? And the atomizer is pretty nice. Let's give it a spray on these boxes, why not? Take that. It's actually pretty nice. So that is the presentation for Commodity Gen. Again, I think it's pretty nice. It's got a good look about it. Uh, it's classy, it's simple. Gin opens up with a nice crisp bergamot and some salty oceanics. Um, it's kind of an aquatic feel. Uh, it's not like really overpowering, uh, but it's there along with the bergamot. And like I said, it leans a little more toward that salty side as opposed to just being like a purified water kind of scent. There's also some light eucalyptus in the background, which kind of gives it a little bit of a unique feel, kind of kicks it up a little bit. It doesn't smell exactly like a gin and tonic, but it definitely gets you in that mindset. So they put forth the gin name pretty well uh, because while it doesn't smell like an alcoholic or boozy type of scent, you do get that kind of nuance, that little bit of sweetness that you might get from a mixed drink. One thing that I noticed about this scent as it starts to dry down, which happens really quickly, is that the bergamot in this bears a similarity to the bergamot used and the Aventus clones that are on the market. Namely, I'm talking about Laventure and Aldur Almagnun Silver. Those both have a bergamot note at the top, and when they start to dry down, they kind of get a semi-smoky feel, and a lot of the crispness kind of gets cut off of the note. Um, this has almost the exact same bergamot note, when you hit the dry down. Now I'm not saying that this is, <laughs> it doesn't smell like Aventus, it's nothing like that at all. It's just that one note is a shared similarity between those fragrances and this one. So if you've smelled those, and again, I'm specifically talking about that bergamot when it starts to kind of lose any crispness and mixes with what they're putting forth as a birch note, that's kind of what happens with the bergamot here. It's not bad, it's not that it smells bad, it just smells really similar. So like I said, the dry down on this occurs really quickly. I'm talking 45 minutes in, that gin accord uh, from those combined notes has kind of moved into the background and you're left with a slightly sweet, woody musk scent. There's a little bit of jasmine in the background but it never really makes itself that well known and nothing really pops from the woods either. Like you can't pick out, oh, that's Gayak wood or that cedar or anything like that. It's just kind of a, a blended wood with a white musk on top of it. It still stays pleasant. Uh, it's just the dry down occurs really quickly. I'm talking 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how well your skin holds fragrance. Um, and that's kind of one of the things that's a letdown about this fragrance. The longevity might be okay, um, four to six hours, 
but the sillage goes to a skin scent super, super fast. With those performance issues in mind, this would be better suited for spring and summer. You could also wear it in the fall and winter. Nobody is probably going to pick this up uh, just because it is a really weak performer. The scent itself does smell like a high quality fragrance and it's enjoyable to wear. People are going to like the way that it smells um, because it puts off just enough of that gin and tonic vibe without going really boozy. It retains a lot of the sweetness, but it doesn't get uh, thick or heavy. It's just kind of playful and refreshing. So in spring or summer, if you're going somewhere where you're just gonna be out for a few hours, you could spray it on uh, and people are gonna like the way you smell. Otherwise, if you're you know trying to get it through the whole day, you're gonna have to either carry a decant on you or spray yourself like 20 times and hope it lasts. All right guys, that's all I've got for you for Commodity Gin. Um, like I said, the fragrance itself smells really nice. I can't fault it there. I actually liked it the whole way through every time I wore it. Uh, people enjoyed it when I asked them how it smelled. Uh, the only drawback is the performance, and the performance is not good. And for a niche fragrance that's supposed to be an eau de parfum, you know, that, that's, that's rough to give it a pass on that. So I will say the fragrance itself is nice. The performance sucks. So you would have to make up your own mind if that's something that you can overlook or if that's a dill killer. Uh, let me know if you've smelled this. Let me know what you think about it. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.